Coming up on this edition of Inside the Tribe, you'll get an inside look at the Wrestlers Rise program at LaSalle Elementary School, and you'll hear from Caleb Collins about his second place state finish. Plus, you'll learn a little bit more about the buyout and Mr. Raider. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Grace Calvin. And I'm Callie Paulson. This week's featured Best Buddies pair is Mackenzie Thompson and Inside the Tribe's biggest fan, Gavin G-Man Franklin. Mackenzie, please tell us why you chose to be involved with Best Buddies. Um, I chose to be involved with Best Buddies because it's just overall a great organization filled with great people and it is so much fun and you get to do amazing activities and make friendships that last a long time. And Gavin, what is your favorite thing about Best Buddies? My favorite thing about Best Buddies is having fun with Mackenzie right here and hanging out with all my friends and wanting to go to the Love Bug Ball and have a fun party. And hopefully next year we'll do the Halloween Ball again. And don't forget, what you're gonna do when the Radar Raider and Best Buddies once wow on you, brother! <laughs> Thank you, Mackenzie and Gavin. Mrs. Bramwell is back with another 20-second Tech Talk. Are you trying to make your presentations look better? If so, use Google Slides Explore. You want to click up the bottom of your screen, click Explore. And if you have an image that you would like to look up, such as Hawaii, you can choose an image drag it on and to make it all center you can go back to the explorer and it has layouts pre-planned for you all different options and that's how you use google slides explorer make those presentations look good folks This week starts Spirit Week for St. Jude. The week's dress-up days include today, Monday, Pajama Day, Tuesday, Twin Day, Wednesday, Social Media Star Day, Thursday, Marin Out for St. Jude, and Friday, Friday, no school. Congratulations to March Student of the Month, Caleb Collins. Caleb was nominated for his hard work and pride in the school. Great job, Caleb. Johnston's will be here March 12th to deliver 2020 graduation orders. Please see your invoice for all payment options on or before the delivery date. Any senior that still needs to turn in their cap and gown order, you may do so at this time. Any student may place an order for her class ring that day as well. Contact Johnston's if you have any questions. Thank you to everyone who participated in the Key Club fundraiser. The top two classes were Mr. Schneblin's Symphonic Band and Mrs. Armitage's First Hour. In the roughly two weeks that we fundraised for this event, in just over 20 First Hour classrooms, we raised a total of $678.29. Money raised will go to benefit the Ronald McDonald House in Peoria. Key Club members will be buying items off their wish list and delivering them in the near future. Special thanks goes to Key Club member Junior Sophie Schneblin for organizing and leading the fundraiser. Color Guard Open gym, Gyms are March 17th and 21st in the main gym from 6 to 8 p.m. Everyone is welcome. No experience is necessary. Please come in comfy, loose clothing. Raider Football is looking for managers and filmers for the 2020 football season. Managers are responsible for equipment and game day operations. Filmers would be responsible for filming on game days. Come to room 345D on Wednesday, March 11th at 3 p.m. if you are interested, but cannot attend the meeting, please email Mr. Schaller at eschaller at ep309.org or see him in 345D during Raider Hour. Summer School 2020 registration forms are now available in student services. Summer School dates are June 2nd through June 25th, Monday through Thursday. Classroom Drivers Ed and several credit recovery courses are available. The cost is $100 for the first course and $50 for the second course. The following colleges will be coming to visit EPCHS on the following dates. March 11th, Iowa Wesleyan University at 1030. March 11th, Quincy University at 130. March 18th, the University of Illinois Springfield at 9. There are various scholarship, job, and volunteer opportunities available. Please see the announcements on the EP website for more details. Cole's back with this week's Raider Weather Report. Welcome back to this week's Week of Raider Weather. I'm Cole Leathers. Tonight will be a high with 39. Tomorrow will be partly cloudy with a high of 48. 
Wednesday with a chance of rain with a high of 57 and a low of 36. Thursday night with a high of 50 and a low of 36. Friday with a chance of rain again with a high of 55. And now to my on-screen reporter, Mr. Leathers. Welcome back to this week's Weekly Ready Weather. I'm Cole Leathers. This weekend is supposed to rain quite a bit, and it's actually supposed to warm up a lot too, so make sure you stay dry, and if your car is a little dirty, maybe leave it outside so you can get some rain on it. I'm Cole Leathers, and that's it with this week's Raider Weather Report. Jake and Faith are back with this week's Raider Report. Welcome back to this week's Raider Report. This week's shout-out goes to the freshman and sophomore wrestlers who competed in the IWCOA Regionals. Three of our Raiders qualified for sectionals. Zach Eaton took first place at 170, Mason Zimmerman took second place at 132, and Mark Schultz took fourth at 132. That has been this week's Raider Report. I'm Jake Huff. And I'm Faith Bavard. Now back to Callie and Grace. Coming up, you'll get an inside look at the Wrestlers Rise program at LaSalle Elementary School, and you'll hear from Caleb Collins about his second place state finish. And you'll learn a little bit more about the buyout and Mr. Raider. Hi, my name is Faith Pavard, and I'm here with... Caleb Collins. So Caleb, you went to state recently. Well, how'd you do on state? Um, I did pretty good. Knocked out the first ranked kid in the state, which I didn't think I'd ever accomplish, but I guess hard work just shows that you can do practically anything you want. That's awesome. Congratulations. So, what was your favorite part about going to state? Uh, my favorite part about going to state was meeting the people that you wouldn't really meet on your day-to-day -day basis. Um, showing just how much hard work can really get you, you know, um, and just overall the um, eye-opener it gave to me and uh, how much I could actually work and put my fourth effort to uh, reach a level I didn't know I had inside of me. Awesome. So, what was some of the highlights from this past season? Uh, I like to say um, when I uh, I think it was during mid-season when I started beating ranked kids here and there left and right, and I never thought I'd exactly do that. And, well, that's all I can really think about, was just showing my name up in there and showing that I could be the number one and no one else could be. Okay, that's awesome. Thanks again for everything, and congrats. Hi, I'm Grace Calvin. I'm here at LaSalle Elementary School with the principal, Tasha Beckwith. So, what are we doing here today? Uh, we are checking out our mentoring program. Some East Peoria High School wrestlers are here meeting with some of our students every Wednesday uh, to do some team building exercises, some icebreakers, some getting to know yous. I think I even saw a group playing tag outside today. That's awesome. And do you enjoy the wrestlers coming in the mornings? Yes, the kids really look forward to it. I always have a lot of requests. This is only their second week. And I had so many kids say, can I, can I hang out with a wrestler? Can I hang out with a wrestler? So it's a really popular program. We're calling it RISE, Redskins Inspiring Soaring Eagles, because we're the Eagles. And so far, it's been terrific. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm here with Levi Robison. Levi, why do you give up your late start Wednesday mornings to come here? I uh, give up my late starts to uh, help get the kids involved and let them, like, show our uh, high school, get them known to our high school. Thank you. I'm here with Courtney Ashley. Courtney, what exactly are you doing out here this morning? Um, we're getting, so we get two kids and then they get to know us really well and yeah. Uh, right now I'm swinging with my girls, so yeah. And what's your favorite part about this program? Um, actually getting to know the kids because they're all really sweet. Awesome, thank you. Jake Huff, and I'm here with Joshua Orr and Sam Abbey of Student Council, and can you tell us a little bit more about buyout this year? Yeah, buyout this year is actually two weeks, usually it's one, but this year we're doing two, and it's lasting from the week of March 9th all the way through March 20th, and the first week, starting March 9th, we're going to have dress-up days, so Monday is going to be pajama day, Tuesday is twin day, Wednesday is social media, and Thursday is Maroon Day because St. Jude's color and EP's color is maroon. And the winner of that is going to have an ice cream party in the next week. So Josh, going into that second week, what can we look forward to? You can look forward to all the normal bio week activities on top of that ice cream party. 
We're going to have the food day on the 19th. We're going to have Chick-fil-A, walking tacos, and we're working on getting even more food and maybe even some new food, different from last year. And then on the 20th, you're going to have the, all your normal buyout activities with some new ones sprinkled in here and there. You're going to have some fun. Have to sign up. Make sure you be there. Thank you, gentlemen. Here with Krista Messer to talk about the final day of buyout and exactly the real reason we hold it. So Friday, March 20th, you can pay $5 to participate in fun activities all day. And the real reason that we do buyout is to donate money to St. Jude. And last year we raised $7,000 and this year our goal is $10,000. Thank you, Krista. Join with Jolene Barquez and Faith Bavar to talk about how we are bringing back Mr. Ryder during this buyout. So Mr. Raider is a male pageant that we're holding on March 10th, which is a Tuesday night, and the admission is $1. So basically a bunch of junior and senior boys are competing. And can you tell me uh, what exactly will our boys be doing? Our beautiful boys will be competing by doing many, many things for this title, which includes formal wear, they're also going to be answering a question, school spirit, and a talent, plus much more that you guys will just have to come see and watch. I'm ready to see my boys compete. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, be sure to listen to Sophie Schneblin every day during Radar Hour. They're also on the school's website, ep309.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. That's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Callie Paulson. And I'm Grace Calvin. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great, great Raider day. day.